Thank you, Carlos, for once again sharing Alex with us. There's no way we can ever thank you or your family and your entire extended family for the sacrifice that your son has made. We know that the burden of grief that the Foley and Arredondo families carry is heavy, but please let me say on behalf of everyone here today, it is that on this day, we are here to help you carry that burden and to honor your son, Alex. As you can see, his sacrifice did not go unnoticed. Our next speaker is State Senator Sonia Chang Diaz. Sonia Chang Diaz is the first Latina woman elected to the Massachusetts State Senate. She is serving her first term on behalf of the second Suffolk District, which is comprised of many diverse Boston neighborhoods, including Jamaica Plain. Senator Chang Diaz's reputation is that of a thoughtful and tenacious advocate for the voiceless. Please welcome Jamaica Plain's own State Senator Sonia Chang Diaz. Thank you. Thank you, Postmaster. Carlos, you're a tough act to follow. <laughs> uh, I first want to say, of course, thank you. It is an honor for me to be a part of this ceremony with you and your family. And as I was, as we were all getting ready to come today, and I think getting out the rain gear, I thought it's so fitting that this is the weather uh, for this tribute today, that uh, even nature should grieve and God should join in grieving with you uh, and with us together at the loss of Alex. He uh, was a quintessential member of the Jamaica Plain community. As, as many have mentioned before, we remember back to the way that he, uh, he took advantage and, and loved this community to its fullest and, and immersed himself in so many of the things that we love about the community, you just swimming and running track at Curtis Hall, boating in Jamaica Pond, taking part of the, in the Lantern Festival and the, um, the soccer tournament for peace. I think of all of these things and I think Alex is every one of our beloved little ones in JP that we see running around every day at all of these activities. And to think of the loss uh, that each one of those parents would feel uh, in the situation, were they in your shoes uh, for the Foley and Arredondo family and what an incredible um, loss it is for us as a community to lose any one of our young ones. He loved this community and the community was lucky to have him in return and, th and that is why I think it's especially fitting that we um, remember him through the physical presence of this post office is something that's so central to our community and something that we pass through every day and every week and that all of us should see the portrait of Alex inside uh, and the case with the remembrances of different parts of his life and that we remember that he was a real person. He was a real young man who came from a real house on our street uh, and that we never forget that and we don't remember him simply as, a, as an anonymous soldier but that a real, he was a real person that loved us and that we loved him. And although I, I say that personally, I did not know Alex. I did not have the privilege to know him. But when I think of him, I think that... Um, I feel like he could have been my brother because uh, when Alex joined the Marines at age 17, as you have heard, he did so as a first generation American. Carlos uh, came to the United States from Costa Rica, as did my father. And I think back of the things that my father told me growing up, the importance of finding something larger than yourself to be a part of and to find that thing and to dedicate your life to something uh, that was a larger cause than yourself. And I think that Alex must have absorbed those same lessons from his parents as well. And I, and I know that because although I just had the honor of meeting Mrs. Foley this morning, uh, I have had the great pleasure of knowing Carlos and Melita for a few years now. And every time I see you in the community, the, I am blown away by your level of joyous activism and the way that you demonstrate citizenship in the truest sense of the word. And I know Alex must have absorbed that from you and you, Mrs. Foley, and how proud he must be um, to see the way that you live out those values uh, in honor of him as well. He embodied the, those values through his life. Uh, and his service to our country 
makes our family, your family, the Jamaica Plain family, and I know the whole Tico community here in Massachusetts incredibly proud. So I thank all of you for attending today, uh, even as nature grieves with all of us. And especially, I say thank you, I say gracias a los padres de Alex, porque ustedes han, han creado un hombre bueno. You have you raised a good man, a courageous man, a selfless man who gave that last full measure of devotion in work in serving to protect his colleagues in the field. Uh, that is an incredible gift to give to your community and to your country. And I thank you so much for it and for all of the families who, as Congressman Lynch said, who serve with us every time one member of their family serves. And I'm just so honored to be a part of this commemoration with you today. Thank you.